Okay, right now I'm going to be replacing the PRAM battery in this iMac G3. I have the replacement battery right here. Um, these take a um, 3.6 volt half AA size lithium battery. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and show you how to take the computer apart. Or get to the battery. Okay, so basically to get to the battery, you have to pull out the entire motherboard, which actually isn't as hard as it sounds. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So first thing you're going to need to do, well, I've already removed that bottom cover right there, but place the iMac on its back, on its front like this. Okay, so on the back you'll see this is what's underneath that cover. Um, here's the hard drive and the optical driver in here. And then the motherboard is behind here, as I will show you in a second. So, first thing you're going to have to do after you get that cover off, which is kind of hard to do, um, you're going to want to unscrew this cable right here. Pull that out, like so. Unplug this cable right there, and this cable right here, which is kind of hard, so I'm going to put the camera down one sec. Alright, got that cable out. Now, you need to unscrew these two screws under, that are holding that plastic piece on. So, let me go ahead and do that now. Alright, there's one. And there's two. So now, what you want to do is, this part's kind of hard, but, especially with one hand, but get a grip on this plastic piece here. And just pull up on it. I'm going to have to use two hands because these wires get in the way. So, I'll resume the video once I get this pulled out. Okay, as you can see, I've gotten it pulled out now. As you can see, here's a fan. Um, this cools off this heat sink here, I guess this is. Um, so yeah, here's the PRAM battery right there. Here's the, um, this actually takes laptop, or I don't know what this is, but it says SG RAM, which I assume is the predecessor to SD RAM. I don't know if this is a laptop style or if this is how it all was, but I'm pretty sure this is laptop style memory. Um, then, there's also this memory module under here. You can see it there. I don't know if that's like processor cache or if it's another uh, SG RAM module or maybe even SD RAM. But I don't know. Let's see if I can tell. Yeah, actually, I think this is an extra, another SG RAM module. Not 100% sure, though. Um, so, yeah, anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and remove the battery. What you need to do is pry off these two ends of it there. These, this little black piece on the top. As you can see, it got it off. Then just simply pull out the battery. Um, this battery is completely dead. I've already tested it. As you can see, it was made in 1999, 06, which is June of 1999. So, go ahead and insert the new battery there. And just to be sure, I'm going to go ahead and reset the CUDA chip because that of um, having a dead battery and it messes that up so you can't turn your computer on anymore. So to reset the CUDA chip, all you have to do 
is press this button, hold it for a few seconds, and there you go, the CUDA chip is now reset. So let me go ahead and get this motherboard tray and optical drive and hard drive right underneath the optical drive, under there, back into the computer and go ahead and give it a test. Be right back. Okay, as you can see, I have gotten the motherboard tray put back in and the cables connected. So now, I'm going to put this bottom cover back on. Now this is pretty hard to do because it is really hard to get on here. So, yeah, I'm probably just going to pause the video here and resume it once I get it on. So, be right back. Okay, as you can see, I've gotten the cover in place. Um, pretty hard to remove, and there's actually supposed to be a screw right here, but it was missing when I got the computer, so I obviously can't put that back in. So, and actually, I just realized the case is like completely cracked right here. Hmm. Yeah. Oh well. It still holds together fine. So, let me go ahead and get it hooked up, and we'll give it a test. Be right back. Okay, I've gotten the keyboard and mouse hooked up to it now, and the computer's plugged in. Now, every time you reset the CUDA chip, you always want to reset the PRAM also. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn the system on and reset the PRAM. To reset the PRAM, you want to hold it down Command Option P and R while the system is turning on. So, to do that, I'm going to have to put the camera down. So I'll just set it right here, so you can hear what's happening. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and reset the PRAM. Now, when you do this, it'll bong once, and then it'll bong again. And then, after it bongs the second time, you can release the keys, and your PRAM will be reset. So, here we go. Holding down the keys now. System's on. second time. Now the PRAM should be reset. And it is starting to boot up. Now the resolution did change since I reset the PRAM, but it will set back to where I had set it before in OS 9. There it goes. And it's still booting. Now, I forgot to mention this in my first video of this, but the CRT is perfect. It, it's perfectly clear, perfect focus, no burn-ins. It's in extremely good condition, so. All right, clock set wrong. Let's go ahead and set that now. Control panels, date and time. Set to 1956, so let's go ahead and set oops, set that to 2013. And four eight. And the time is I think six. Six forty nine PM. Set my time zone. Okay, it's already set to Eastern Time. So let's go ahead and close it. Alright, the time is set. Date is set. It looks good. Yep, so
that was the PRAM battery replacement in the Blueberry iMac G5, G3. Hope you enjoyed this video.